is able to work on behalf of God Himself. He does not come with the intention of showing all men His image in the flesh. His image in the flesh. He doesn't come so that all men see Him. Doesn't come so that all men see Him. He comes to allow men to be led by His hand. And man thereby enters into the new age. Enters into the new age. The function of Christ's flesh is for the work of God Himself and not to enable man to fully understand the essence of his flesh No matter how he works nothing he does goes beyond what's attainable by the flesh and he does all in the flesh with a normal humanity and does not fully reveal to men the true countenance of God Additionally, His work in the flesh Is never as supernatural Or inestimable as man can see represents God Himself in the flesh and carries out in person the work that God Himself ought to do. He does not deny the existence of God in heaven, nor does He feverishly proclaim His deeds Rather, he remained hidden humbly within his flesh. Apart from Christ, those who falsely claim to be Christ do not possess his qualities, do not possess his qualities when juxtaposed against the arrogant and self exalting disposition of those false Christs. It becomes apparent what manner of flesh is truly Christ. The falser they are, the more such false Christs flaunt themselves. And the more capable they are of working signs and wonders to mislead men. False Christs don't have the qualities of God. Don't have the qualities of God Christ is not tainted by any element Belonging to false Christ Belonging to false Christ Complete the work of the flesh And he becomes flesh Not to merely Allow men to see him Rather he lets his work Affirm his identity And lets that which he reveals Attest to his essence Identity was not seized by his hand, not seized by his hand. It is 
is determined by His work and His essence. It is determined by His work and His essence. It is determined by His work and His essence.